great day. Now, I am going to be very, very honest with you. I was actually thinking about pulling out my Duramax transfer case. You all know I have a 2001 Duramax uh, with like almost a half a million miles on it. I was going to pull that transfer case out and uh, I was going to do a video on the teardown of that transfer case. I was going to be like, oh, what's wrong with this transfer case? Uh, how bad is it? How much carnage is in it? But instead, I couldn't help myself, guys. I just could not help myself. Now that Ghost is running and Ghost has went down to North Carolina, did a whole bunch of passes, had some fun. I was actually planning on going to Cecil County Saturday just for a little bit to get some passes in. Now, the problem with that is Cecil County Dragway in Maryland seems to be having a, an event tomorrow, uh, which is Saturday, which will probably be the upload that you're watching right now. And uh, I can't race down there. So last minute decision making, I'm deciding I'm gonna go to Maple Grove with the car and I'm driving the car to the track. Yes, you are correct, everybody. I am driving my thousand horsepower 98 Firebird formula to the track shaking around a lot <laughs> with by the way guys with let me put the window down here for a minute yeah you guessed it et drags on the back i'm literally driving up the highway with a bias ply et stiff wall drags hopefully i don't get a nail because if i get a nail i'm gonna freaking unhappy it's not even gonna be funny so i aired them up to 30 psi so i don't ruin them basically i uh, ended up watching the car you can see the car's a little washed and i also put some gas in there put some good old e85 in the car that way i can make it there because this thing gets like 10 miles at a fucking gallon and it's stupid because it's running so stupid rich but it seems to like it rich so i leave it alone and that's just the way it is so we're on our way there now we've got about it's about a 20 minute drive guys not that long of a drive um, i'm actually going to be meeting uh steve fast hammer down motorsports i'm going to be meeting him down there as well and uh just in case just in case anything happens to the car he'll be there to be able to tow me back he doesn't live very far from the track he can go home get his trailer load me up with his winch take me back to the shop but we are crossing our fingers guys that nothing breaks on ghost while we make some true quarter mile passes at Maple Grove Raceway, guys. I'm excited. I was not expecting to be able to go out so soon and make a, a, some passes with this car. Now that I know what I got to do to make it run properly and uh, not hit the rev limiter and not hit the two-step, so on and so forth. So, let me downshift because she's shaking. She likes to shake a lot. Probably because of the tires on the back, guys, to be honest. But we're about uh, three miles from the Adamstown exit. We're gonna be there soon. Everybody seems to be braking for some reason. I don't know why. I think they're all going to the turnpike. I'm not going to the turnpike. I'm going, oh, got to get over. Here we go. Now, I will be honest, guys. I've never, ever, ever driven a car to the track on these uh, ET drags on the street. I mean, the, the reason why is because they get so freaking hot because of driving. You can pick up nails, screws, uh, pieces of metal. You can puncture the tire very, very easily. And uh, then you're gonna end up with a flat, and that's a bad thing. That's not a good thing. So uh, hopefully I don't pick up anything at all. And hopefully we can get down to the track at Maple Grove, make some really decent freaking passes, get some good times, hopefully maybe a good um, new best. Maybe not a new best, who knows? But we're just gonna go out, we're gonna have some freaking fun. Fuck it, right? We're gonna have some fun. It don't gotta be fast, it don't gotta be slow. But we're gonna have some fun boys so let's get our asses to maple grove welcome to pennsylvania where they literally oil and ship the freaking road everywhere because they're too lazy to fucking pave it that's what happens to pa guys when they're too lazy to pave it they decide you know what nah we're just gonna we're gonna chip it which means putting down stone and tar we're gonna put freaking like oil down on the road there it goes that way too Unbelievable. Pennsylvania, get your shit together. Seriously. There we go, boys. We have a Grove Raceway, guys. Right there. Woo, we got stone and chips still on the ground. Oh, yeah. Stone and chips are still on the ground, making my life a pain in the ass. All righty. No more.
more stone and chips, we're good to go. We got clear road again, boys. We're almost there. I'm excited. I hope you all are excited. If you don't remember, we had a call out here last year at Maple Grove Raceway. Comment below. Do you think we should have another call out at Maple Grove? I think we should. Comment below. Let me know, guys. We could have a whole bunch of different events going on. Not only drag racing, but a whole bunch of other stuff as well. So comment below, like I said. Driving my race car into the racetrack because that's what we do, boys. We don't trailer our shit unless it's like 400 miles. Then we trailer our shit because if our shit breaks down, we're fucked. You know what I mean? <laughs> Woo, doggy. We're going to make some passes tonight. Oh, I got downshift. Oh, my God. There we go. Second gear. We got it, boys. We got a second gear with the camera in the hand kind of deal. I don't know. There's that racetrack over there. Whew, it's gonna be a fun night. It's not even that hot. It's like 70 degrees. Almost perfect weather. 70, 75 degrees. Almost perfect weather, guys. So this is gonna be fucking amazing. I don't care if I just cussed. I'm excited. This is the day that I've been living for, just to be able to race this car for so many years. And now I get to race it again. I'm excited. Let's get through the gates here, boys. And, uh... Get our asses in the staging lanes. All right, guys, we are through the gate. Woo, we are going to the racetrack. They let us through. I don't know why they let us through, but they let us through, guys. So we're gonna go over here to the staging lane area. This is actually a staging lane, the parking lane area. And we're gonna look for a parking spot. Actually, we should probably tech in first. So we'll look for a parking spot real quick. And then um, what we'll do at that point is we'll fill out our paperwork and we will uh, go ahead and get down the staging lanes or at the tech lane and uh, tech in. Make sure we have all our safety equipment and all that dumb shit. Oh, that's loud. And then we'll go ahead and we'll sign up, get our shit together and go racing, boys. Steve Fast is on his way, by the way, as well. <laughs> now we just gotta just got to tech in now. So let's see what they flag us on. Should be interesting. Oh yeah, yeah, I've been here before. Do strictly testing and tuning today. Yeah, I'm just doing testing and tuning. I need you to sign my right here. Oh, that's fine. My signature or somebody else's? Your signature. <laughs> I tried, man. Me too, but it's not best. I have no idea, to be honest. Have you run this? I ran down North Carolina, it was doing like eights. It's probably a lot faster, but I'm just trying to figure out the launching at this point. I'm not going to be like, don't right, But them? I have all the safety equipment. So I have a six point bar, helmet, jacket, belts. Crack it, crack it. Just saying, you know, if you go 11.49 or quicker, you're going to need new belts. Okay, are they out of date? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I've had them for a while, so. And can I see your helmet, please? Yeah, definitely, definitely. in we're leaving the tech booth people we're leaving he did complain about my belts my belts are out of date um so i do need to get new belts uh these are rci's uh platinums they actually had a four-year lifespan on them if i set them back in after two years but i never sent them back in after two years so they are out of date the jacket's good the helmet's good um the belts are pretty much the only thing that's going to hold me back from getting in trouble here at the track so we'll see what happens boys uh the lanes here and uh air down my tires and uh, maybe wait for Steve Fast to show up. Once Steve Fast shows up, Hammer Down Motorsports, we'll uh, go ahead and get to racing. Next up, next up. So they put me with the fast cars. That's why my number's uh, 518 number seven. Kind of lift the hood here. She's all ready to fly. Make sure everything's good to go. Oh yeah, she drove here beautiful guys. Beautiful, got my nice little rag here. That's awesome. We're gonna go ahead and air down the tires now. 
because they are at 30 PSI. We need to get these suckers down to at least, at least 12, maybe 13. I thought I seen something rubbing in here, but I guess not. No, she looks good. She looks good, guys. She looks good. So we'll go ahead and we'll air her down, get them down to like 12 PSI here. And then, and I did, because last time when I was in North Carolina, I forgot to uh, bring an air truck with me, but I got one now. So we'll, let's air it down, get them down to where they need to be. Powers are aired down to 15 psi. Hopefully that works for me here at this track. And um, basically what we'll do is I think I'm going to adjust my drag bar a little bit while I'm here. Uh, I'm going to turn it down three notches on the driver's side to keep the front side, uh, the driver's side down a little bit better. Hopefully I can do that with this nifty tool. I don't know. We'll see. All right, that's done. We only did about two buckle turns basically. Put that right there. Uh, I guess we'll uh, we'll check the phone here, see if Steve Fast is coming. Charge up my GoPro for the, all this racing that's going to be happening, and uh, maybe wait for him to show up. Oh my God! It's my best friend. <laughs> Are you racing? I can't wait to see you go slow. Well, how, what, do, what do you think it's going to go? Where do you think it's going to go? Sixteen fives. Can we line up? I'll miss second and fourth. <laughs> I'll straight. I'll I'll let you. I'll give you. A, listen. I'll give you two. I'll give you five cars. I'll give you five car head start. Five cars. What's up? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. And you'll miss gears. I'll miss gears for you. I, that's because I like you. I'll miss gears, man. It's a great thing. Staging lanes are open. You know, you're welcome in the staging lanes. I don't have to call you. Just keep coming back. And you get out of the track. What the hell's going on here? What is going on? Oh, they put you on number three? I'm number seven. They said they said number sevens were the fast cars. Oh, well, I guess we're going to find out. Hey, guys, listen. Everybody go check out Hammer Down Motorsports. Give him some subs. The guy's been growing so slow. He needs, he needs more subs. Well, you're going to be racing this thing right here? Yeah, well, we're going to see what happens. Oh, my God. A freaking Range Rover. You see, it as a fucking Range Rover. Crazy. What year's this thing? 2018. 2018 Range Rover. He's gonna take it down the track. Crazy. We got the bird. We got the Range Rover. We're here to have fun. It's got this little S that you turn it to. There's D and then S. S is for sport, like really fast. So oh, okay. We're gonna do that, and then it's gonna do all the amazing things. What kind of amazing? What kaboom? Uh, well, if it does that, we're gonna roll it over to the road, and then we're gonna tell them it happened on the way here. And then I can drive you to your house to get the trailer, right? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> really excited to see what this thing does. I'm not going to lie. I'm actually excited to see what this thing does. I'm going to put the massaging seat on when I go down the track. You're going to put the massaging seat on while you're going down the track? Yeah. You're a dick. It's going to be awesome. I'm going to be sweating my ass off in that thing. That's what I'm going to be doing. I want to have the AC on, but I got to You cannot have the AC on. You cannot. You can have the AC seats on them. Yes. So you're allowed to do that. I don't have AC at all in my car. I got to suffer. You got T-tops. I can't take the tea towels off and go down the track, man. Off. I don't think Maple yeah. Grove's gonna like that very just much. Just ignore them and keep going. Oh yeah, until I get down to the end, they're like, "You're Last out." Of the day, boys. You're done. <laughs> well, you ready to go? You ready to go up and do some do some damage? Let's do it. I'm not gonna do any damage. But stock cars. We're gonna do some fun things, hopefully. All right, let's make it happen, Captain. We're gonna make it happen, guys. We're going to the track, right over there, and we're gonna do some racing. Ready, boys and girls. We're going for a ride. We're going for a ride. Got my good old motorcycle helmet on. We're gonna make it work, boys. We're gonna make it work. I'm sorry, I'm just gonna put that up for right now because it's really fucking hot in here. Whew, smoking hot. Smoking hot, is my back camera on? Yes it is, my back camera's all ready to go.
Car's running good, bad launch. Need to rev it up more, need to rev it up more. Definitely need to rev the car up more. I'm gonna have to move the two stepped up to six grand. It bogged, bogged really, really bad. That's okay, that's okay. I think if I can get the two-step up a little bit more, the tire's hooked. It just bogged really bad, so I need to get that two-step up. Thank you. Alright. 11.9, 125, 1.960 foot. A lot of bog going on there. 91 in the 8th, 7.9s, shitty, shitty, shitty. Totally crappy, guys. We're gonna fix it though. We're definitely gonna fix it. Let's go this way. Andy's back in the pits here and it turns out he might he may have put the park brake on and left it on <laughs> the entire time because uh yeah 12-2 I don't know ah well he'll figure it out yeah the, par the parking brake was on the whole time absolutely <laughs> I saw it smoking as he pulled oh, in oh yeah the back brakes were <laughs> fucking killing it Let me yeah man it. ah well <laughs> you gotta love oh yeah my reveler is set at 6800 rpm so I think I'm gonna raise that up to seven. Send it to what, 8,600? I'm gonna no, fuck that. You're good to I'll go. I'll put it up to 70, 7,500. Cause I know it's good for that. 
Oh well. Run three is gonna be the one, I know it. Yeah. This I thing's bet. gonna do 990. Yeah, oh god damn I'm <laughs> All right, guys, obviously you can tell we're back at the shop here. It's the next day. Um, I did get back late, so I wasn't able to really record anything uh, at the track because it was getting dark. I did not make that third pass that I wanted to make, unfortunately, because uh, I guess there were some cars that were breaking down and, uh, and stuff like that. <clears throat> So I ended up turning around and just leaving the track um, just because I wanted to get back to the shop here before it got too, too dark because uh, these headlights on this thing freaking suck. But regardless of that, yeah, some really, really crappy passes. Uh, just made two, unfortunately. Um, I think a lot of it is because of this Innovate Motorsports SCG1. For some reason, I have a funny feeling that the car that... that because of the air fuel going lean when I go to shift um, and go into, you know, high 22s, obviously when you let off the gas and, and press on the clutch and let the gas back in, it's going to do that. It's not going to stay at, you know, 11.7s or anything. Um, I think what's happening is it's reverting back to low boost, which is nine and a half pounds. Uh, this third run that I wanted to do, I wanted to verify that, but unfortunately I wasn't able to get that third run in. But I think in like first gear, yeah, first second, I might be seeing that 21 pounds of boost. But once I start shifting and, you know, into second and third and fourth, um, it's seeing that, that lean condition and it's going ahead and, and it's going, it's seeing that lean condition, obviously, and it's making it go and revert back to nine pounds of boost. I don't know if that's the problem or not, to be honest, but this car should be going a ton faster. Last year, down at Cecil County Dragway, this car without the gauge in it, with just a boost by a uh, boost T, which I'm really thinking about putting back in, to be honest. Um, but with just the boost T in it on 21 pounds of boost, which it was making 21 pounds of boost the entire time down at Cecil County Dragway last year, went 10 sevens at 139. So to go to to go to Maple and run an 11.9, to be honest with you, at freaking, you know, 128 miles an hour is kind of, something's not right there. Something's definitely not right there. Um, that second pass that I made was a really, really good launch, and I thought it was good to go. I thought, man, this is, this thing's going to roar down the freaking drag strip. I'm going to get a, a, maybe a, a high 10, low 11 second pass at like 130 something, and nothing. And I'm like, you got to be joking me, man. This is crazy. So something's going on here. I just got to figure it out. But, you know, obviously it's going to take a lot of time for me to figure it out. Not something that's going to happen overnight, unfortunately. But I'm going to keep trying my best to save the manuals, guys. To save the manuals. You have to. You have to. I mean, it's unless this thing breaks again, I'm going to continue driving a manual. Um, I'm going to continue racing the manual. This is a street car. That's what I want it to be. Um, It'd be great to make a good time out of it. It'd be awesome to have a nine second pass, which it will happen. I guarantee you it will happen eventually. But unfortunately right now, it just hasn't happened, but it will. Not too concerned about that. I put a power glider, a TH400 in this sucker. We're gonna be seeing a lot faster than nines out of it because it is making the, the power for it, obviously. But uh, that's about it, guys. We're gonna end the video. Wish me luck in the future. Hopefully we'll get there together forever. Other than that, if you like the video, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Instagram, Diablo Formula Racing. Facebook is also Diablo Formula Racing. Deuces, guys.